always made the decision to put our brotherhood above everything point. else. I never thought about that. And and it and it ties into lots of things. It also ties into economics. I, I've said this story before, but I'll say it again. When I was growing up in Luton in England, which is a, a highly Islamic uh, town, there's lots of Muslims who live there. They, I was friends with some Muslim guys in college and they used to laugh at me all the time. One of them was like 19, worked in Tesco and had a Ferrari. I was like, bro, how do you have a Ferrari when you work in a fucking, I think he worked in a chicken and chip shop. He worked in like a fast food restaurant and had a Ferrari. I was like, how do you have a Ferrari when you work in a, a fast food restaurant? He said, cause I got nine brothers and we all worked together and we shared a car. I was like, okay, but why do you share the car? He said, no, no, you don't understand. You, I won't use the racial slurs, but he was like, you people, you, there's you and your, your three brothers. You all grow up. You all decide to get with your girl. You all go pay different rents. You all disappear. All your money gets spread out now. You're taking your girl on holiday and paying a different rents and you're all separate. Me and my nine brothers live in one big house. If we meet a woman, she moves into the house. The men are all focused on making money. The women are all looking after us, cooking, cleaning. You got nine men in the same house trying to pool their incomes. That's why we own the houses you rent from us. It's different. Brotherhood first. It's different. You people don't think that way. You fall in love. You fall in love with some bitch and you run off. You go pay her rent. Sure. It's like a different mentality, you know, and that's why they win. 